Hey there, fellows. You will notice I've got this lovely thing right here, and a few more on top of that. For a total of four. And now we're gonna take out our old Neva, which is still capable of driving. It's actually feeling pretty good. To that Neva, we're gonna fit these rails in an attempt to drive on them. It should be able to drive straight just fine, but if we were to go over a less than perfect road, well, let's just go ahead and find out what happens. Let's do this. Big thanks for your support, guys. Your likes, views, comments. As a token of our appreciation, we've prepared an awesome surprise for you. We've collabed with a few professional artists and designers to make six posters depicting some of our most iconic builds. And we're giving you the opportunity to buy a digital copy of one of those posters. And at a bargain price, just $2 a piece. And if you order all six posters at once, the entire set is only gonna cost you $10. After payment goes through, the posters will be emailed to you in high resolution. You can print them, hang them on your wall, or give them to someone as a gift. By purchasing these posters, you will really help support our channel in these difficult times. And the more of these we sell, the more great content we'll be able to make for you going forward. So if you want to support our channel, go ahead and buy a digital download. The link's in the description. We make a nutty carriage on 47-inch wheels, cable reels. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, guys. We're looking pretty good here. We've got reels on there where the wheels should be. And in order to mount them, while well, uh, we grabbed a set of factory steelies, also a set of 13s, we welded them together in pairs and uh, connected them to some brackets that we uh, tied into the reels themselves. It all looks pretty good. These have given us plenty of ground clearance. There's not much in terms of a contact patch, but there is something I want to show you. I uh, should do fairly well over the packed snow, but you might recall how we fitted some tall and uh, narrow wheels to a new Oz way back. To boost its capability over the deeper snow. And I expect the reels to give us a similar effect. Up front we also got dually wheels as a sort of adapter, but then these... Do move around a tiny bit, but then this was inevitable. This car isn't new, and even if it was, you'd still get a serious wobble with this sort of leverage. But we should be all right, as long as it doesn't try to rip the steering wheel from my hands. And since we are ready to go for a drive, well, let's start with the packed stuff. See how it's gonna behave. And from there we can drive into some deeper snow. See how it goes through an evenly snow-covered field. All right, let's go. Okay, we seem to be ready. So, uh... Let's get right on going. Even in low range, this is gonna have a hard time getting these enormous wheels to turn. I can actually steer this thing, holy cow! That's nice to know. Holy cow! That was pretty much a burnout. Got all four rotating. And that is very nice indeed. Here we are moving along. And we've stopped. But then that does happen. The thing is that you can't even hear the... The engine running because the wheels are making a, a hell of a lot of noise. 
with the snow crunching and everything. So, yeah, um, the noise is quite intense. The key thing here is to get used to it, which I haven't yet. Wasn't I in low range? No, wait, yeah, I still am. But these wheels are so big that you get the impression you're going too fast in first. <laughs> we are moving with a plum. Oh, come on. As soon as I complimented it, I stalled. We are moving. Holy cow. Isn't that something? I'm in first and the speed... Oh, and I've got it in low range. And the speed, it's more characteristic of a second gear? Yeah, for sure. Do the brakes work? No, brakes are for pussies. And here we are, moving along, driving, doing some more driving. So far, so good, it's moving. Terrific. This thing is hauling. <laughs> Haven't had this much fun in a long time. I hit some snow and as soon as I did, it pulled me to the side. Eh, no big deal. All right. Let's carry on. It's more than happy to drive in a straight line. So I think it's high time we... dive into some deep snow. We'll just roll right into it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but who cares. I was off to a good start, but I'm a bit down on power. No. Oh, there we go. Popped out. The front. What I need to do now, though, is turn around. Oh, look, this is actually going rather well. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about, and now we're going the other way. Terrific. Oh, wow. Come on now. These wooden reels aren't really gripping the surface. The packed snow. Come on now. Okay then. Nothing to worry about. You think it'll dig itself in? Well, give me a push then. Ain't having it. And off we go. Here we are, moving along. You see this? 
We are currently in rear wheel drive. And I can even try a bit of sideways action. I'll at least give it a try soon. This is one hell of a carriage. And here we go! A bit of drifting. Come on now. Here we go. Initiating, but then not quite. But we'll get there. There we are! I might experience a lack of grip. Indeed. Oh well. That was interesting. What was I shooting at, though? Couldn't really tell. I've gotten a bit carried away, I mean... Even the wheels are starting to disintegrate. And that is not ideal. There we are, they gave me a slight nudge, and off we go. And that's a wrap. Yeah, we're done. Like this? No, there we go. And so here's the situation, guys. The testing is complete. And uh, these real wheels of ours, they almost uh, held up even. One of them began to fall apart. That one seems to be in better shape. I guess it spent more time outside, unless I mean. On this one, a few planks have evacuated. But overall, I'd say we're looking pretty good. Everything uh, more or less held up. Except for the one that lost a plank. And over here, you'll see that we're down an axle shaft. See what has happened to it? It was under some pretty considerable stress, which resulted in... There was enough torque to propel the car. I guess this is a case of metal fatigue. It rendered the car rear-wheel drive, but that was actually quite a lot of fun. I was even able to do some donuts with wood chips flying all around. That was fun. And that does it for this experiment. You guys uh, bore witness to it all. And, uh, yeah, the reels held up. We did use some self-tappers for reinforcement. That was a precaution, and it's a good thing we did that, actually. Anyway, this worked all right, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And that's it for this video. Catch you guys later.